Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Florida Panthers GM mode. Here's our current lines before this big trade we're about to make. Huberdale, Bukestead, Yager, Riley Smith, Alexander Barkov, UC Jokinen, Perry, Bolin, Hayes, Thornton, Trocek, Gambleri, I think you say his name, I'm not quite sure on that, Kulenkov, Ekblad, Gabranson, Campbell, Mitchell, and Alex Petrovic. And then obviously in the crease we have Roberto Longo and Al Montoya, which our goaltenders are not going to change. It's everything else that probably could change right now. And this trade, some of these trades coming up will be influenced by comments from you guys. So one second and I'll show you guys the after results of the trade. Alright guys, I'm back from making these trades. Check out our team now. I think this will improve our team quite a bit. We did have to get rid of Alexander Barkov. But I think it was worth it. We lost some player morale, but most of them were able to, you know, get better over talking. First line for center, we have Nick Buke said that did not change. Yarmir Yager did not change. But hello, wait a minute. Who's this left wing you say? 91 overall franchise player. Taylor Hall? What? Why would we trade for that? The trade was was put up there as a suggestion by YOLO Bros in the comments. There was two comments that the trade get players. It was either Taylor Hall or Phil Kessel. I feel like Phil Kessel, I understand they're both really hard players to acquire, but I just decided to go after Taylor Hall instead. And I figured why not? If we're doing trades, let's get Jimmy Hayes. Let's bring him back to the Panthers. Now, Jimmy Hayes, I traded straight up. UC Yoke in for Jimmy Hayes. That went through. For Taylor Hall, I gave Alexander Barkov. I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. So I gave him Barkov because he's projected to do pretty well. He's projected to become a really good elite player. So pretty much like a top one forward. I gave them Barkov and two first round picks from the future onward and a prospect which it's a really low ranked prospect that i'm not even worried about them even they're probably never even going to use them he's probably an ahl player to begin with but they did get that prospect so i tried to make it as realistic as i could without overpaying for it i guess you can say since this gmo is pretty much really unrealistic because i already have injuries off and pretty much that's all that changed. I moved Riley Smith down to the third line because he's a top nine forward. I want the brothers to be together to see how they do. Maybe they have great chemistry. Let's see how their morale is together. They have no locker room morale together yet, but that's probably because they haven't been in the locker room together yet. Hopefully they play really well together. Dave Bolin on the third line stays exactly the same. Brendan Perry stays exactly the same. And the fourth line is not even touched. Defense didn't touch the defense. I was going to trade up to get maybe another second line D-man, but I figured Brian Campbell's gone after this season. We can wait until the season is over before we just go ahead and trade away Brian Campbell because nobody's going to take him in with this massive contract. $7.1 million. That's just ridiculous. Hopefully Alex Petrovic progresses really well to where he can move up and hop on that second defensive line if not we can just throw willie mitchell up there he's supposed to be a top four defenseman to begin with anyways guys those are the trades i made goaltending also untouched so all right guys here's your here i reassigned the captains here's what i did nick buke says your alternate captain he was already the alternate captain i made yami yager alternate captain as well maybe a veteran could get some more experience going for the young guns. Maybe get them going a little bit. Also, Willie Mitchell is the main captain, which I'm completely fine with. I might change that depending on how the season goes because he's on the third defensive line and he's a captain. Right into this, playing games. First game will be against Buffalo. We're going to slow sim Buffalo. Actually, no, we're just going to sim right through Buffalo. We're going to slow sim their rivalry game with Tampa Bay because that's a big game for us. Nice! A five... Whoa. Whoa. Yarmir Yager for a second and a third round pick. Yager's got one year left. And those picks will benefit us in the future because Yager could retire right after the season's over. Hmm. And that would free up a lot of space for us. 
I'm gonna say no, just because of the fact that if they take it, if they're gonna send us that now, they would send it. That means they would accept it further down the line. So I'm just gonna say no to that now, just for now. All right, a five nothing win against Buffalo. Either Buffalo did. Buffalo is a good team this season too. Wow, maybe this will help us out. We're a slow sim against Tampa Bay. Just because of the fact that this is a big rivalry game. Tampa Bay is having an amazing season so far. Alright. We're gonna go times we're gonna go times eight, but the end of the first period is zero zero. Alright, this is gonna be one of the games we gotta grind it out for. Alright. That's not good on uh, Palat scores first on Roberto Lolongo. We gotta change that. And Yarmir Yager. Look at that. We could have traded him. That goal would have never happened. Look at the shots difference, though. We're getting 22 shots on goal. They're getting 9. Our defense is coming up to play. But where is our offense at? We're getting shots in the net. It's just that they're not going through. So their goalie is just not letting the shots go through. Steven Stamkos scores. So 11 to 24 shots. Stamkos scores, and it's 2-1. One. This is come on guys. You guys gotta do better. Alright, let's do this. Let's just roll through the rest of this game. We're killing them in the shots. I just don't understand why we can't get any gold up there. Come on guys. One goal. One more goal. At least force overtime against our rivals. We don't want them to destroy us. Look at the shots. We're getting shots on net. Come on. Nothing. 36 shots, and you can only score one goal. Ben Bishop had a night that night. I'm just going to give them that. Ben Bishop came to play. He came to play. That is for sure. I'm not going to worry about that. Ben Bishop came to play. That's all I'm going to say. But we do have a home and home at them, so we better beat them in our house. Because this is our house, guys. Come on, we're going to slow sim this goals come on times eight and the first period two one we're in the lead sean thornton wow sean thornton and gabarde or grim grim lot i can't say his name i'm gonna have to look it up on google translate or something like that get it to say it for me and tyler johnson on luongo that's not good bobby lou but that's fine we're killing them in the shots again we have more than double their shots but our fourth line's getting some scoring now. That's good, but none of the other lines really show up, and that's starting to worry me here. Okay, Stamkos. Stamkos is always scoring. Always kills us. Come on, guys. Get one more. Just one more. We have to beat Tampa Bay here. We have to. Just roll through it, guys. Come on. We're, we're beating him in the shots department. We're just not getting goals. Come on, power play. Score. Come on. We're killing them in shots. Let's go, Dmitry Kolenkov. That's what I'm talking about. Tie game. Getting scoring from the defense now. This is the position we want to be. Oh, we took the lead. I forgot we had two goals. So I was worried for nothing. We were in the. We were tied the whole time. We took the lead now, Dmitry Kolenkov. What a guy. Come on, guys. Just hold the lead. Hold the lead. Play nice defensive game here. Stop cross creases. And Jimmy Hayes gets the empty netter, and that's got to wrap up the home-and-home home of Tampa Bay. 1-1, one, one, guys. 1-1 one, one against our, our in-state rivals. I believe that was the first two games we played with them. Yes, that's the first two games we played. So our so we're one one. And we do have some players losing morale because of ice time. I don't know why they lost morale. What's going on? I don't know if it's the way the players are. But we're gonna address that if it doesn't change soon. But if it's not broke, don't fix it. Alright. Playing Anaheim, we lose four three. Ouch. Was that overtime? No, it was not an overtime loss. I forgot it shows up if it's overtime loss. We got the New York Rangers here. 
Jesus, we're just getting destroyed. Alright, we got the LA Kings. Let's beat the Kings. I love how fast the simulation is now. We gotta beat the Kings, guys. one nothing loss. How come we can't get these wins? Alright, if we lose against the Islanders, we're gonna have to stop. And we're gonna have to just regroup here. Something's not working. Okay, 3 nothing win. That's good. They, are, they look like they're also struggling as a team as well. This may be a draft year for us. It may be just barely out of the playoffs for us. Or it just could be a straight up, we suck this year. Which I think that's what it's going to be this season, unfortunately. We got Detroit. We lose 4-3. This is just crazy. Let's got the WHL. Four words, two weeks. What is going on? Again, we're back to we win a game a week. Ever since we went on that small winning streak and we lost to Calgary, it's been a game a week. We don't want to do that. Alright, St. Louis. Come on, we gotta beat St. Louis. 4-3 loss. What am I supposed to do? Nashville. Okay. one nothing. That's good. That's not good because we're not scoring, but at least we won against Nashville. 15 and 10. Jeez. They're almost the opposite of our record. All right, now we're going to play another team that's struggling in the Columbus Blue Jackets. Hopefully we can beat them. We do. 4-1 win. We're on a winning streak. Let's check on our lines, make sure everything's still okay. Let's hold a team meeting. Maybe we can get some player morale going. Okay. We shouldn't be in position. We shouldn't be in the position to have to beat an underdog that pulls off an upset. We've had a lot of pressure on us, and we came through in spades. Just like I knew we would. The fact that this was looked at as a at as a upset win shows we have perception problem with our fans. I want you to remember how you felt going into this game. It doesn't feel good to be the underdog. Let's let's go with the last one. Ooh, that was horrible. That was a bad decision. Kevin, the Hayes brothers gained. Bowling gave Montoya. So pretty much all our extra people gained. But people such as Hall, Ekblad, Bugsteg, Yager, Smith, Campbell, Perry, Mitchell, Petrovic, and Savard have lost morale. That's not good whatsoever. That's not good. Hopefully it didn't mess up any overalls. I mean, we had to get that going. Looks like our goaltending has dropped down. I think Al Montoya is in net for tonight. I think they're giving Bobby Lou tonight off. All right, so our lines. Taylor Hall, has he scored yet? Three goals, 12 assists. He's putting up points. Nick Bukestead means he's going to be putting up points too. Uh, yep, him as well, which means Yager is also putting up points. So the first line's back. First line, not touching it. Kevin Hayes. He had like 12 points. He's still doing good. Jimmy Hayes. Eh, I don't remember exactly what Jimmy Hayes had. Huberdale. Huberdale is about the same. Riley Smith had 13 points. He's about the same. Our defense is probably doing great. How's Ekblad doing? I don't like the plus minus as we have going on here, but that's not going to change. We can't just change that. That's just the way it, we just got to work on it. I don't think a two-way forward sniper sniper is working. I want to put a playmaker in there, but I really don't want to have to. Because I know power forward, power forward, playmaker. I don't think that's going to work either. But I don't want power for forward, power forward, sniper. Because that's what's... Because I move him up to here. He's playing out of his position. And he won't... 
progress the way I want them to. We'll just roll with this line for another few games, see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, I'll make some changes. Because I know this is getting crazy. But we have to start winning games, guys. Because we are just falling out of the NHL like nothing. 11-14-1. It's still possible to make a push here this early in. But we don't want to get off on a really bad losing streak this early into the season. It's horrible. Alright, we got New Jersey. We're going to... We're slow to send the game against Boston. See how Jimmy Hayes does against his old team. A 5-2 win. We're on a three-game win streak. Hopefully, we can keep that up. All right, against Ottawa. Maybe we found our momentum we need. We lose in the shootout. I'm okay if we lose in overtime. We still got a point. Now we're going against Ovi in the Caps, but it's in our home. We lose it. We win in overtime. We're, we're getting points now. We are getting the points. All right, we're slow sim against Boston. Yeah, we're going to slow sim against Boston for sure. Goals. All right, times eight at the end of the first period. one nothing. Ryan Spooner. Come on, guys. Get this going here, guys. I want to see scoring from that first line. Our first line, not Boston's first line. Come on, power play. We should score off the power play. I might change up the power plays, maybe. Maybe that's what's causing us to lose a lot. Because I don't think we scored very much off of power play. All right, come on. For us, come on, Jimmy Hayes, get one against your old team that we just got you from. That they took you from us. Forty-one shots on goal against almost thirty. Bobby Lou is just taking shots left and right. Look at that. Thirty-nine saves. That's ridiculous. He shouldn't have faced that many shots. But it's whatever. That's in the past. Let's go to the Islanders. Hopefully we can beat the Islanders. Next slow sim, the, 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 the. the next slow sim game we will do will probably be. Let me take a look at it one more time. We we'll got a scout in America. Next slow sim we we'll do will be Vancouver. Roberto Longo's old team. All right, we got the Rangers. All right, Islanders. Sorry, <laughs> we're actually doing pretty good this month. I think once we got November out the way, we're starting to do better now. Because we went on a solid three-game win streak, we went on a f we went on a five-game point streak. That's what we want. So let's do it again. As I said, we're slow in Vancouver. So let's get New Jersey out the way. They're eight and twenty-three. Good God! Whoa! Hello. I know. I do not want to get rid of, rid of Willie Mitchell. He's our team captain. He just holds too much morale in there. He's a leader in the locker room. I understand two second round picks would be great, but he's just too big of a leader in the locker room. So I'm going to have to decline that. I thought we were doing bad. New Jersey is 8 and 24. Good googly moogly. 8 and 24. I almost chose New Jersey as a team to be. I'm kind of glad I didn't. We're actually going we're actually neutral right now. 15 and 15. Let's straighten that record out against Carolina, who's not having that bad of a season. But we just made their season better. That's not good. All right, we're going to slow sim against Vancouver. Our AHL team is doing great, though. 17-8-3. I wish we could just swap those records out. I'd be fine doing that. All right, let's go. Let's go this all the way through. In the first period, whoa, hello, he showed up. Riley Smith, Yarmir Yager, and Jimmy Hayes. So that's the first, second, and third line right there scoring. That's what I want. I want to see Mick scoring like that. We're actually bringing the puck to the net over Brada. I don't like that. Uh, they just come right back, right out the second gate. 
come out of the gate right at the beginning of the second period, we might have to put a stop to that right there for sure. I don't like that at all. Okay, Riley Smith got another one. Alex Pet Petrovic. Nice. We're getting scoring from our defense now, too. Let's see if Riley Smith can get that uh, hat trick. I hope he does. That'd be great. Riley Smith is actually becoming a really good player on this team. I might t Ooh, Cannon's scores on long rail. Taylor Hall. Finally, I get to see Taylor Hall score. I haven't seen him score yet. I know he's been scoring, but every time I slow him, I haven't even seen his name pop up yet. I might reward Riley Smith by moving him up a line, because he's been doing really good. Bo ha uh, Horvat. Come on, guys. Don't let him come back this late in the game. Can't do that. So we had an amazing game right in there. 6-3. Yeah, we let in three goals, but I mean, we scored six. So give him some leeway. Riley Smith has been performing, though. Nick Bukestead, three assists. Taylor Hall, three points. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is great. Kevin Hayes has great morale because of ice time. That's awesome. They're just doing awesome. We'll play this game against Ottawa. Well, we'll sim to the game against Ottawa, and I'll check to see how overall is doing. Uh, that's the same trade they sent us earlier. I'm still going to decline it because we seem to be clicking now. Like, we found what we needed to actually get better offense going. Did Riley Smith's overall go up at all, I wonder? Because he's been playing awesome. It hasn't, but I'm sure it will soon. Because this kid is just great. 11 goals, 9 assists. I think he still leads the team in points. Taylor Hall's been performing too. Oh, no, Taylor Hall leads the team in points. 11 goals, 17. That first line's been putting out. That first line's been putting out. Yeah, 11 goals, 16 assists. That first line's starting to put out now. 19 points. How about the Hayes brothers? Yeah, they're putting out too. I'm surprised they still don't have any locker room chemistry with each other. It may take a while. He's making pretty good locker room chemistry with everybody. How about uh, Hubie? How's Hubie doing? He's doing alright. He really hasn't... Ch it's mainly these two. I guess they must cross crease it to each other or something. And Hubie Dale's like, hey guys, I'm over here. Give me the puck. <laughs> or something like that. Let's check out our defense. How is Ekblad's... Ekblad's a 90. He's, he's going to be at... He's going to be a minimum of 93 by the end of the season, the way he's growing. He was at 88 two games ago. Yeah, he, he's putting out. His plus minus may not be all that, but he's getting. He's definitely taking shots on goals. 62 shots, 3 goals, 16 assists. He's just doing great. He's having a great season. I really wish I could get Barkov back for him, though. That would really help his morale. But he seems to be doing fine with this. Dmitry Kulinkov, I'm hoping his overall starts to go up because he's also having a great season. When... Great when it comes to helping us defensive-wise, not when it comes to points. Because these two are going to be awesome on the same line. Normally, I don't like having two two-way defenders on the same line, but I seem to be okay with it with these two. Now, defense, I normally have a two-way and a de uh, defensive D-man, but it seems to be fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish out this month, and I'll stop the episode there. So we're probably sim. I think it's Montreal is our last game of the month. Yeah, Montreal. So we're slow sim Montreal. Let's get past Ottawa right here. What's Ottawa's record? 17, 12, and 5. They're not having a bad season at all. Let's see if we can win, blow past them. And we do 3-2. Very nice win, guys. People are gaining morale everywhere. This is great. All right, we got the Columbus Blue Jackets again. Let's see if we can beat them again. 5-0. Our, we are actually getting scored in from all lines now. This is great, guys. This is great. All right, last game, Montreal. We're slow sim it. And then we'll take a look at the point leaders on our team. I think Taylor Hall, that was a great trade. I thank you for the comment saying pick up Taylor Hall. It was an amazing idea. Our team is changing so much. Speak it. Whoa. I just said his name. And he scores on the first shot. That's awesome. And the first period, one nothing. Come on. And the second period, one one. All right, come on, come on, guys. Let's get this going here. Let's win this game. Come on, do it. So we finish this month out on a. So we can finish this episode out on a win. Taylor Hall again. This guy's a class act. Come on, Taylor Hall, get a hat trick. Get a hat trick, man. Get a hat trick. You deserve it. 
Ooh, wise. I don't like that. Come on, we're gonna go to OT. Taylor Hall gets it. No, I'm my bad. Jeff Petrie and Mitchell puts us away. I thought Taylor Hall got a hat trick because I seen it down in the bottom, but I forgot bottom means it already happened. Well, guys, that's not the way I wanted to finish out this month. Like right there, that's mm, it's all right. I mean. Losing sucks, but we sure have been doing a lot of it. At least we have more wins than losses, if you don't count overtime losses right now. 18-17. We're not far away from the bottom, but we're not far away from the top either. We are last in our division. That's not in the wild card anymore, even though it's way too early to even worry about that. We're doing a lot better than the Maple Leafs are, though. That's for sure. Let's hope that we've played a lot more games. we played two more games than them. Let's hope... Oh, Tampa Bay's doing just as bad as we are, too. I'm fine with that. Let's hope by the end of the next episode, we're fifth. That's my goal. Taylor Hall, 30 points on our team. He's got to be at least 60 points. At least 60 points this season. Taylor Hall, Bukestead, same amount of points. That is awesome. Bukestead, I know he's going to progress to be an awesome player. By the end of this season. I predict him to be a 89 maybe. By the end of the season. And Brian Ca Brian Campbell. Whoa wait a minute. Brian Campbell's on here. I'm talking about. I was talking about how ready I am for him to leave the team. And everything. How his contract's just taking space up. He's really not doing well. He has 22 points. And he has a plus minus a 3. We might resign him if he keeps this up. If he doesn't retire. He only has one goal. But 21 assists. That is ridiculous. We mu If he keeps that up. We'll resign him. That's for sure. If he doesn't retire. And then Yarmir Yager. Look at this. 11 goals. 11 assists. He's also showing up to that first line. Not as well as the other ones. But he's a sniper. So he's ready for those shots. The other two must be passing it back and forth, like I said about the Hazy Brothers. Riley Smith, I'm really impressed with him. 21 points. He's on the third line, guys. 21 points. That's awesome. Then from the second line, Kevin Hayes with 21 points as well. He's been showing up ever since we got him. I'm so glad I traded to get him out of spite. And then Aaron Ekblad, I just don't even have to talk about it. He's not doing well for points, but his overall is growing rapidly. He'll be at least a 93 by the end of the season if he keeps up this growing rate. He started the season off as an 87. We're in, what, the third month? He's a 90. He'll be at least a 93 if he does good this season like he's doing. Dave Bolin, he's went up because of player morale. 17 points. Dimitri Cole and call 15 points. And Jonathan Huberdale at 14 so, so far, the only person who hasn't scored is Camper, but he he's in the AHL. Why is he showing up for NHL? Oh, because he played three games. That's why. Alex Petrovic, I think that was a great decision swapping those two out because his plus minus is eight, and he's only he only has space to grow. Look how he's 23 years old. He's 27, so I feel like Petrovic was the better decision. Sean Doran's not doing bad at all for someone who could possibly retire. By the end of this season. Hopefully he does. Because I know. I don't think his contract's that much. Yeah his contract's nothing. But we could use space for maybe a rookie. Where he is. Get a draft pick. And Eric Gabranson. Hopefully he progresses to be something else. So, so far our first lines plus minus is, is fixed out pretty well. I say. It looks like it. Taylor Hall is the reason why Reese changes all this. It's ridiculous. This is just crazy, guys. I'm glad you guys commented that. In fact, I'm going to... Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any ideas of anyone else I should trade to get or how I can improve those lines, I'll show you guys the lines one more time. It would just fix stuff, like, completely because... We're doing decent. We could do better. And I want to do better. So any ideas, please leave it in the comment down below. And that would be great. Also, special thanks to YOLO Bros 
for telling me to pick up Taylor Hall. I was going to pick up Phil Kessel like it was suggested in the comments, but YOLO Bros Taylor Hall idea just seemed more solid to me. So, I went with it, and it sure did pay off. So, thanks guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Gotta fight today, to live another day, speaking my mind today. Our lives will be heads today. I've gotta make a stand, but I am just...